This is Eternal Treasures with Melissa Signs. How has God come through for you in your time of desperation? This week's devotion for reflection and prayer is entitled, Great is Thy Faithfulness, and is inspired by Lamentations 3.24-26. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I will hope in Him. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the soul who seeks Him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. In our world today, It takes but a moment to recognize the moral decay, political corruption, and overall despair by simply turning on the news or reading the headlines. Can there be hope in waiting on the Lord amid such chaos? In his lamentation concerning the siege of the southern kingdom yet extolling the faithfulness and goodness of God, the prophet Jeremiah was an eyewitness to the consequences of Judah's unrepentant idolatry and disobedience to God. The people failed to heed Jeremiah's warnings to turn from their idolatry. He lamented to the Lord on their behalf, thus being referred to as the weeping prophet. To lament is to send up a loud cry to God expressing a deep regret, grief, or sorrow. These verses encourage hope to the one who laments. They are a reminder that God is good to those that wait for him, submit to his perfect will, trust his unfailing word, and seek him. Jeremiah's intent was to focus on God's goodness and mercy despite the devastation that occurred. We should observe that God's mercy can be found in the midst of turmoil. The prophet declares, that His mercies are new every morning. Many of us live in a culture that promotes instant gratification. When we ask God for something and then experience delays, it doesn't always mean that God is denying or depriving us of something we really desire. God's resources will match or supersede our requirements. However, they will occur according to His time and purpose. God's goodness is not dependent upon our circumstances, as He, by His nature, is always good. He directs His goodness towards His people, and in His sovereignty will act on our behalf. Waiting on the Lord requires our active, not passive, will. While we wait, we continue to pursue what He has asked of us, to faithfully pray with expectation and trust Him. Although Jeremiah grieved over Jerusalem's destruction, he had hope and confidence that God would restore them to their home. Here is what hope accomplishes while we wait. 1. Hope can eliminate the desire for instant gratification. 2. Hope delights in waiting for something that is better. 3. Hope, when trust is given, leads to kingdom-focused action. Where you shine the light will demonstrate where you've placed your hope. Amid your darkest moments, how do you typically respond? Let us pray. Lord, help me to have peace as I wait on you. When circumstances in the world and in my life appear bleak, help me to keep my focus on your kingdom. My hope and faith remain in you. I pray that your word will be written on the tablet of my heart so that I can remain steadfast. Thank you for your faithful provision and unconditional love for me. Thank you that though I may face challenges, Your mercies are new every morning. Your grace is always sufficient for me. Amen. If you have any suggestions or comments, please email me at 
the lady at carrythelightministries.com. You have been listening to Eternal Treasures with Melissa Sines.